My name is uh, Dr. Mercedes Perez Rodriguez. My title is Associate Professor in Psychiatry. Allyship to me means, you know, being aware in our day-to-day -day work about all these unconscious biases and prejudices and stereotypes that exist in, in our society and trying to do something about it rather than just staying as a bystander or, or you know, shutting up and, and not doing anything. At the very beginning of my, of my research career, I received an award eh, and I was a resident eh, back then. I was in psychiatry residency, specializing to become a psychiatrist. Eh, and I had received this award that was for those that were international medical graduates, meaning you had gone to a medical school outside of the US. So I received this award together with a group of people. We are at this meeting, you know, in a, in a uh, convention center and they have all the chairs prepared for everyone that got an award. And then I didn't, you know, realize, but I and also all the other IMG awardees, we sat on the back row. And then actually someone uh, spoke out and said, hey, you know, everyone who got an award should occupy the first two rows. This uh, seemed like, a, you know, an innocent behavior we just, you know, picked our a row randomly. We were talking about it after, and we had all felt that because we were the international medical graduates, somehow we were like second class citizens. And this made no sense, right? And it, it was just this internalized bias that I had this stigma <laughs> against myself, right? And other international medical graduates. And it took someone saying something from the outside to actually make the invisible visible and have us all realize what are we doing sitting on the second row. And, and this is something that I think mentors and allies are really key for trying to address it. Because at least in my personal experience, there's nothing that boosts your self-efficacy and kind of, you know, removes the imposter syndrome than if someone that you admire and is a role model for you believes in you and makes you believe in you. I'm a researcher myself, so I love all things that are based in evidence. And evidence and research, solid research evidence, has shown that really, you know, more diverse teams uh, excel beyond teams that are less diverse, that if we bring representation of all the different groups in our society, we can improve patient outcomes, healthcare outcomes, decrease disparities. Right? There shouldn't be more, for example, infant mortality uh, uh, among black women than among uh, white women, for example. Uh, and these are things that in order for us to address them, we need to understand the data, we need to implement interventions that work. And a key part of this is to also have a diverse workforce of providers. So these are all things that I think, you know, a culture of allyship, of, you know, valuing diversity, equity, and, and inclusion really has been shown to make a positive impact across many different outcomes.